What's up, everybody? Hey, uh, while Hawaii is under this coronavirus lockdown, like a lot of the democratic states, they've come up to, with this asinine idea that they should just let all the criminals in prison free. Just turn them loose. And some of them, one of them has already killed somebody here in Hawaii. Uh, a bunch of them have immediately went back to committing crimes immediately. Um, as soon as they got out, already committing crimes infecting others and um, one of the most notorious is Stephen Brown and Haley Danderant now if you don't know them they committed one of the most notorious and heinous murders in Hawaii's history they beat a lady to death while they duct taped her child to a chair with a bag over her head her little baby child and they beat the woman to death with a baseball bat while she was cleaning out a rental house on the North Shore. There was a statewide manhunt. It was all over Facebook and social media. Uh, people were looking for them everywhere. And of course, like always, when it gets on social media, there was uh, misleading reports and misinformation and things like that. But they were caught pretty quickly in Mililani. They were caught with uh, the victim's credit cards, her truck, and um, this idiot, uh, Stephen Brown, had his hair all dyed green and Haley. And then when the police caught him, they're like, just shoot me already. Just shoot me. Just shoot me. Just put me out of my misery. I deserve it. Well, I agree with them. They, they need to. But imagine the surprise. These two are filing for a release for COVID. And their attorneys are actually going, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's uh, let's turn them loose. So, Stephen Brown and Haley Danderant, their attorney is uh, putting together the proposal for their release during the COVID. This is your Democratic politicians. Uh, this is Governor David Ige. This is Mayor Kirk Caldwell. This is Lieutenant Governor Dr. Josh Green. This is Dr. Bruce Anderson. This is Dr. Sarah Park. And they should all be held responsible for this. All of them. Because while they are causing the economic collapse of Hawaii, a financial collapse and devastation that is so bad that the state will never recover, um, they're actually making matters worse by letting violent felons out of prison. So remember that, guys, because everybody's all like, oh, it's Trump's fault. It's Trump's fault. Oh, yellow man, bad. Liberals, good. Yellow man, bad. Liberals, good. Liberals, good. Liberals know everything because we're woke. We're enlightened. Oh, my God. And... Um, the fact that these two would even have the possibility, the remote possibility of being released is insane. But that tells you just how demented our political leaders are, especially if you live in a blue state. It's incredible. The shit they can come up with is incredible. But, um, I think, and everybody's panicking over this now, you know, on social media, like, oh my God, don't let them out, don't let them out. I think that letting these two out is a great idea. And here's why. People always talk about prison justice and social justice, especially here in Hawaii. Bah, bah. Wait till the Usos get him, cause. Wait till the Hawaiians get him. Uh, we had a guy that murdered a high school football store about 20, a star about 20 years ago and uh, kicked him in the chest and uh, killed the kid and all the Hawaiians were like and the kid was a Hawaiian kid so all the Hawaiians were like bah bah no way cause he's fucker dead cause soon as he step in the prison the Hawaiians gonna take care of him bah Hawaiian mafia cause they gonna take care of him they gonna handle bah and they didn't do shit the first day on the exercise yard the guy did a handstand and walked around the exercise yard on his hands and everybody was scared shitless. And the guy had no problems in prison. He flourished in prison. Uh, as a matter of fact, he's been released since then. So tells you what the price of a human life is worth. But um, the prison justice and street justice, it never happens. But in this case, this murder was so violent 
and there were so many people in an uproar. I think that it's a great idea. I think that you should let these two out because you see the violence going on in the mainland, how uh, BLM members are walking right up to people's houses and kicking the doors in and, and demanding their houses. White people, give up your houses. This is our house. We take in this house and threatening to kill them. Well, I think that would happen to Haley Danderent and Stephen Brown. As a matter of fact, I don't think that they would even make it home safely. I think this between the time they walked out the prison doors and got to their place of sanctuary, I think that there would already be a vigilante mob waiting to administer street justice. And if you guys don't know about this case, what they did was they took a baseball bat and bludgeoned this woman so badly that she was unrecognizable. They were covered in her blood uh, when they were arrested uh, going into Walmart in Milani. Uh, several hours later they had blood all over them both of them did under their fingernails on their hands credit cards in their in her truck the victim's truck so it was just a gruesome gruesome murder but if you look at the video on his Facebook page under um, Axel Hayes Hendrix the musician um, him and her making this stupid video where she's like <laughs> just keeps looking at him and he's talking about yeah the devil we died today we died yeah the devil the devil stuck a pineapple up my ass and she's laughing the whole time <laughs> <coughs> so I think it's a great idea let these two people out <coughs> and let the people of Hawaii take care of that problem I think if they did, there would actually be justice for Telma Boynton. Or, uh, Telma. Anyway, this is Bob Smith. Blood makes you related to loyalty, makes your family. Until next time, out. Telma Boynville.